Here's some more problems from section 3.6 on problem number 13. Uh, for each of these problems, we are asked to find dy dx. So if y is equal to the quantity x plus the square root of x to the negative 2 power, um, then dy dx using the inside outside chain rule, or uh, let's just do it the, the if, if our outside function is u to the negative 2, and our insert function is u is equal to x plus the square root of x, which of course is also x plus x to the one half power. Uh, then we could say that dy du times du dx is our is our chain rule. Um, going from the top, dy dx or dy du is equal to negative two u to the negative three du dx is equal to 1 plus 1 half x to the negative 1 half power, um, which also could be written as 1 uh, plus 1 over 2 root x. So dy du is negative 2u to the negative 3 multiplied by du dx, which is the quantity 1 plus 1 over 2 root 2 or 2 root x and then we do a substitution which is negative 2 times uh, x plus square root of x to the negative 3 power uh, all multiplied by 1 over uh, or 1 plus 2 root x. Alright? Alright, uh, let's do problem number 15. In problem number 15, we're given that y is equal to the sine, sine to the negative fifth power of x minus cosine to the third power times x. Um, using the inside-outside mantra for this one, uh, let's take the, take the derivative of that. Uh, it's a power rule, negative 5, keep the inside function the same, but the power is reduced by 1, and then multiply that whole thing by the derivative of the inside function, which is sine, and the derivative of sine is cosine, minus 3, bringing the power down, dropping the power by 1, keeping the inside cosine function the same, and then multiplying this by the, ne the derivative of cosine, which is sine. Those signs cancel, and we we'll end up with negative 5, sine to the negative sixth power times cosine x uh, plus uh, 3 sine x cosine squared x. Okay, that's number 15. On to number 17. Uh, in this case, y is equal to sine cubed x times tangent of 4x dy dx then. We look at this and the overriding feature here is that it's a product rule so we're going to go first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first And now let's go ahead and process each of those derivatives. This is going to use the chain rule. The outside function is tangent. The inside function is 4x. So we're going to say the derivative of the outside, which is secant, leave the inside the same, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is 4. And now we have tangent 4x times the derivative of sine cubed. The outside function here is the cube function. So take the derivative of cubed reduce the power by 1, and then multiply that by the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Cleaning that up, 4 sine cubed x secant squared 4x uh, plus, uh, let's pull that coefficient 3 out, uh, tangent 4x sine squared x cosine x.
Okay, looks pretty good. Number 19. Y is equal to 3 over the square root of 2x plus 1. The derivative here is going to be a quotient rule. So it is the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom and that's all over the bottom squared. Cleaning that up, the derivative of 3 is 0, the derivative of any constant is, is, is 0, so that gets rid of this whole term right there. So we're going to left with negative 3 times the derivative of that. Let's do a little side work here. And that is um, the derivative of the square root of 2x plus 1 is equal to the derivative of 2x plus 1 to the 1 half power. So that's a power rule. And so that we end up getting 1 half times 2x plus 1 reduce the power by 1, and then derivative of the inside function, which is 2. Those two cancel, and so what we're left with is 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half power. And that's all over the square root of x plus 1 quantity squared. Now, um, and on the cleanup step, uh, this is like a square root. This square root is, the 1 half means it's square root. The negative means it's on the wrong side of the fraction bar. So we could take and bring that square root down here. And in doing so, we end up seeing that we have three of those square roots And that is where we're going to leave the final answer. Um, the book lists the final answer as negative 3 times 2x plus 1 to the 3 halves power, uh, sorry, negative 3 halves power. Um, and the uh, expressions are absolutely equivalent. Uh, the negative, the negative because it's on the bottom, the 3 there because there's a 3 there, and the 1 half because it's the square root. Number 21, y is equal to the sine squared, func sine squared of uh, 3x minus 2. dy dx, the derivative, is going to be found by taking the chain rule. Remember the outside function here is the power. So 2 times the sine keep the, uh, keep the inside the same. And the power here has been reduced by 1. And then we're going to multiply this by the derivative of the inside function. And I'm going to write it this way this time to remind ourselves that this itself has a chain rule. And so we're going to end up with 2 sine of 3x squared minus 2 times the derivative of this. The outside function is sine, so the derivative of sine is cosine. Leave the inside the same. And then we'll multiply this by the derivative of the inside function, which is 3. Cleaning this all up, we end up with 6 sine of 3x minus 2 times cosine of 3x minus 2. 23. 23 is y is equal to 1 plus cosine squared 7x, and this is all to the third power. Um, outside function is the cube, so let's take the derivative of the cube function, leave the inside the same, reduce the power by 1, and multiply by the derivative of the inside function.
Now the derivative of this inside function for this term, the, the main uh, the outside function is the squared, reduce the power by one, keeping the inside the same. And then multiplying this by the derivative of the of the inside function. derivative of the outside function here is negative sine. Keep the inside the same and then multiply by the derivative of 7x which is 7. And then we clean up. 3 times 2 is 6 times 7 is 42. Uh, there's a negative sign here which is going to make it negative 42 and then we have all the different pieces. Cosine 7x, cosine 7x, sine of 7x. Here we have it.